Hi everyone, my name is Julie. I forgot to fill my finale for my summer project pan. So here we are a month after summer. <laughs> Using it and loving it and seeing where we're at with these things. So let's dive in. So first disclaimer, I had eight items in this project. I have finished one that was the like nautical nail wraps, which I hated. I have lost one, which I already told you about, the Sephora lip balm. Still, that has not popped up. Maybe when my household good arrives. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Um, the second item I have since lost is my makeup cleaner, like the makeup brush cleaner. Uh, what is it called? The Beauty Blender Solid Mini. I don't know where that went. <laughs> it's around somewhere. Um, I'm sure that it's hiding somewhere in my stuff. I just don't know where that thing might possibly be. So I'm going to ignore that for right now. And instead, I'm going to show you the five items I do have. Um, and I didn't finish any of them. So <laughs> this was a highly successful project fan. No, in all seriousness, I did get use out of them. So I am happy. But like, I only finished one and I've lost two. <laughs> so, you yeah, know, listen, <laughs> things happen, right? Things happen. All right, first things first, my perfume. This is the Coach fragrance. This is in the shade Love. Coach Love Blossom. No, Coach Love Blush. It looks like this. I don't think they make this anymore, but I did get some use out of it. I don't know if you can see that small blue line down there. Basically think that this was brand new when I started. I don't think this represents three months worth of use <laughs> because I would traditionally use up an entire fragrance like this. This is only one fluid ounce, I believe. Yeah, one fluid ounce in three months. Maybe three months in one week. Um, so clear, it looks like I only use this for one month. I mean, in all honesty, that's what I would have expected it on the first update. But that's okay. That's okay. We're forgiving ourselves. Lots of love in 2020. So I like this. I'm going to continue using this. It's not a great false fragrance in my particular opinion, but I actually do like it. Like, I've been really enjoying the way it looks and smells on me, the way it looks on me. Is that even a thing? God, it just smells so good. I'm very excited about this, so that's a keep for me. Then I have my mascara. This is the damn girl mascara. I got this on my lashes today. I must say, I still like this. This is the only mascara that has kind of survived the move. All the other ones I was using in Project Pans like wore out. And I actually had another one that was open and that one wore out really fast. So this is my remaining one and it's on its last legs. Like it really is on its last legs. Um, I'm thinking about getting rid of this and opening up another mascara, but I'm like, I'm still enjoying this one. I just don't know if it's as like black as it once was and voluminous as it once was, but it's still giving me an okay look, but it's getting part. Now I'm like talking to myself, I'm like, you know, these are the types of mascaras where I do tend to stretch them over the three month mark. Like I tend to stretch them to four months or maybe even five months. Um, maybe I'll have to wait to see what time my stuff arrives to see when my other mascaras arrive and how this is doing, or I should just run out to the drugstore and get another one. Kind of up in the air about that, but I'm definitely gonna not purchase anything until the end of this month. Gosh Overnight Priming Oil Essence. This is actually pretty nice. It's a little bit heavier of an oil. It's definitely thicker of an oil, but this does a pretty good job on my skin. Um, it's very moisturizing, which I like. When I did kind of like a test, if I could turn it sideways and everything, I was doing pretty good. Um, I could definitely lean this halfway, so I'm half gone on it. And if you shake it, it feels like it's really like right there. That's kind of where I'm at. So I'm excited. This I think this is good use. I find full size like skincare lasts me five months anyway, so this is right on track to where I think it should be. My It Cosmetic CC Cream did not travel very well. I haven't used it since I've been here, so there's still a lot left. Probably that much left. I won't probably touch this until it gets closer to my skin tone again. Just a little tan for it. Probably here in the next month that I can pull this out. And last but certainly not least is my Mally stick. This was like the winner. <laughs> I've been loving Mally sticks during this move. This one is in the shade Bliss. Let me I'll swatch it for you so you can see in the shade. It's just like a shimmery taupe. That's the shade. Oh, that's a weird swatch. I put it with like a V. There you go. 
What I like about this is it's really a one shadow look. I can put it all over my lid and make it look beautiful and shimmery and just throw it on some mascara and then you're good to go. Maybe some eyeliner, maybe not. But that is all I've got left. And that is pretty cool. I'll show you on the cap where I marked it. So I used a good amount of that up. So I was there last month and now I'm at that bottom line. So that's three months worth of use. It seems really steady. It looks like I've got another three to four months worth of use before I can get rid of this. I'll also say I probably didn't use this, you know, super often, probably like once a week. <laughs> so if I focus on this more, it probably will be gone faster, especially if I start using it like every day in the month. This will probably be gone in two months if I need it to. But I've had a really good time and that's all I've got, guys. Like, that's it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy panning and I'll see you in my next one.